The menagerie is one of my favorite places. Ah, the wonders of the animal kingdom. I could study them for hours and still come away with unanswered questions, such as, what is that thing in the cage anyway? a record now? Okay, this is me making a record. What happened was, I was in my room in my house, and I heard a thump in the closet. So I opened the closet door, and something grabbed me and pulled me in. Then there was this flashing light, and I heard a zapping sound. I went around and around, and then I was here. This place is weird. This is for you, Gayen. It's me, Gayen. I heard you're looking for the scroll of 13 o'clock, and you're planning to use it to rule the world. Now, seriously, that seems a bit impractical, not to mention unimaginative. Sure, if you had the scroll, you could control time, but so what? What does that have to do with ruling the world? Get real. More likely, you'll just make another little mistake, like when you drank that stupid formula. You thought you'd get rid of me, but I'm still around, and you're still an idiot. You don't have a chance.
Experiment log number 310. To exploit the particular nature of this house, I must understand it better. In this experiment, I sought to determine the extent to which the spirit, or will, of the house affects those living inside it. The procedure consisted of deliberately angering the house and observing the inhabitants' behavior. In order to anger the house, I went on a destructive rampage and slammed doors, broke things, and harassed the creatures, driving the house into a terrible rage, as I knew it would. The result? As I suspected, the inhabitants were affected by the house's mood. All of them became hostile. The final conclusive evidence is that even the kid attacked me. This is proof positive that no one, even the most innocent, is immune to the mental influence of the house. This result also supports the theory that the house itself... This is for you, Gayen. It's me, Gayen. Of course I'm going to rule the world. After I possess the scroll of 13 o'clock, I'll learn to control time itself. Do you realize the implications? What with this power, I'll control not only when things happen, but whether they happen at all. I can make things happen over and over again until they come out the way I want. I can hold tomorrow hostage, and I'll knock you straight into next Tuesday. You don't have a chance. Boy, I really got back at that scientist guy. I put a vacuum tube in that Iron Maiden thing downstairs. He likes that kind of stuff. So he went in to get it, and the lid closed on him, and then I heard kissing noises, and he yelled, Stop that! Stop that! He really hated it. When the lid opened up, the doctor guy was gone, and the Iron Maiden gave me a toy car. This place is weird, but sometimes it's fun. <laughs> I know something you don't know. I know how to tell the good Gayen and the bad Gayen apart. When he shows up, before he even says anything, I know which one he is. You'd like to know how I do it, wouldn't you? I thought so. Well, I'm not going to tell you. After all, I'm sometimes bad myself, you know. Thank the Nobel Prize Committee for this great honor. No, no, that's no good. <clears throat> I would like to thank the Nobel Prize Committee for acknowledging my genius by awarding me the Nobel Prize in... I, uh, I mean, uh, awarding me the Nobel Prizes in biology, medicine, chemistry, physics, and... Uh, 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 what else is there? Oh, no matter, I'll win them all. Call me a quack, will they? But I'll have the last laugh. <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Dr. Synthesis to tell me whether a brain is nice or naughty. He says it's a very difficult thing to do. It requires years of expertise. It isn't the kind of thing you can explain in a few words. He could write books on the subject. In fact, he did. So I just went back to the monster lab, swept up the broken glass, and put the brains in new jars. I don't have time to read a book. Oh. <laughs> 